So the Xiaomi Mi 5 has finally been launched in India and it is going to cost 24999 for the 3GB RAM 32GB storage model. The phone is going to be available on Mi.com from April 6th onwards. So April 6th is the first sale for this device and it will... Uh, I just see you guys joining so I'm going to repeat once again. The Mi 5 has just been launched in India. It's gonna cost rupees 24999 for the 3 GB RAM, 32 GB storage variant, and it will sell on me.com from April 6th onwards. It will be available on partner websites like Amazon and all later, but we don't have a date on that right now. For now, the Mi 5 is going to sell on me.com. As you guys probably already know, it has 32 GB of RAM and 3 GB of storage. It runs on the Snapdragon 820 processor. It has a 16 MP rear camera and a lot of other things which you already know. Ashpreet Singh, nothing else was launched. The Mi 5 is their only launch for today. And uh, I am not really sure what you mean, Kedar. I think you want to see the other sides of the phone. Uh, <laughs> Jason says, wow, you lucky guys. Well, yeah, we are kind of lucky. We get to test out a lot of devices like this. That is true. Uh, so, yeah, to start with, one thing I want to tell you guys here is that the Mi 5, even though it has a 16 megapixel camera, I am not really very fond of this camera. By Xiaomi standards, I think Xiaomi could have done better in a lot of ways. The company has done better before. Uh, but again, it does look pretty good. It's got a Snapdragon 820 processor. And Yuvraj Kanan, this phone costs 24999 in India and it will be available on me.com. Uh, Ashpreet, I think it is a pretty good price because this is the first Snapdragon 820 powered phone in India and to be honest, it feels really, really light. It's only 20, 129 grams and, uh, you know, it, it feels really uh, fast for a, for a, you know, budget kind of a device. So, yeah, at this price, it is possibly the fastest phone in the market right now. And that's something I really, 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 really like. <laughs> Ashpreet Singh, I haven't seen the goodie bag yet, but I will let you know. I, uh, What I hear is that there's going to be a me uh, in your headset in that. So you can see Jaimani in the background there, if you guys notice. And Jaimani, we are going to talk to Jaimani very soon as well. So wait for that as well. Uh, Srivats Tyag says, what about the OIS? So Srivats, that's a funny thing. The OIS on this device is very, very good. It's uh, got a 4-axis OIS. We were trying this setup that uh, Mi had set up here, here. And the OIS does look very good. Mi 5 Pro asks M7. So the Mi 5 Pro is not coming to India at the moment. Uh, but Xiaomi says that they might launch it later. In fact, the 3GB, 32GB variant that you see in my hand is going to be the only version of the Xiaomi Mi 5 in India for now. But again, Xiaomi may launch other versions later. Sumun so, Batarai, again, the phone costs 24,999 rupees in India for the 3GB, 32GB variant. Why didn't they launch the 4GB version? I am pretty sure that's because of the shortage of units. The next sale for the 4GB version is going to be uh, in China very soon and they have a lot of uh, demand there according to them but they might launch it later depending on what kind of prices they can come up with uh, Kishan Sikwal, it has a bunch of colors but yeah for now I think only the white color is available in India they haven't talked about the other colors but they will be bringing the black and the gold color to India also <clears throat> going back okay is it not too much for this mobile says Deepak Sharma uh, Deepak, I really do not think 24999 is a bad price for this phone the, because it feels really fast. The camera, yes, I'm not very fond of the camera, but that's only in terms of Xiaomi. You know, by Xiaomi standards, I am not very fond of it. But uh, overall, I, I really don't think this is a bad price for this. Mishubhangan Saxena says, is is there will be an update version for Android in Redmi Note 4G? Not that I know of Shubham, they are already selling the Redmi Note 3 in India. Aditya Pusalkar says, does it heat up like the Mi 4? No, the Snapdragon 820, at least for now, does not heat up like the Mi 4. But then I have spent about uh, 20 minutes with the device and I've really done nothing more than uh, test the camera to, uh, you know, talk about the heating about this device. No, it does not have expandable storage, at least at the moment. Rajan Arora, it supports uh, Quick Charge 3.0 since it's on Snapdragon 820, so it supports Quick Charge 3.0. So for those who don't know, that's Qualcomm's newest standard in quick charging. 
and it allows uh, basically what Vicharge V.0 does is that it allows the battery to draw as much power as it requires in the sense that batteries usually draw less power as the charge goes up but with quick charge 3.0 uh, you know the battery keeps drawing just the ample amount of charging it wants taran hora no there's no heating issue at the moment at least i don't see anything uh, 32 gb external storage yes 32 gb internal storage uh, i think should be good enough for most people to be honest i personally i don't find 32 gb to be a lot and according to xiaomi right now they're not going to launch the 64 GB variant for this device here. The Mi 4, Mi 5 Pro is not coming to India at the moment. Uh, Shubham Sharma, this is not Samir. This is Prasad. Samir is not here today. In fact, Samir is sick. So please do hope for him to get well soon. <laughs> Rohit Arora, hi there. I'm doing good. Uh, okay, flop model of 2016. J7 is better. I really don't agree with you, Rahul. Uh, I'm not. You know, it's not about Xiaomi or anything. But I really think between this and the Galaxy J7. I think the Mi 5 is definitely a better device. Too costly. iPhone 5s is cheaper than this and better than this. Yes, but the iPhone 5s is also a three-year-old device, so that is something we must take into account. Uh, and I honestly do not think the iPhone 5s is faster than this because the 820 is much faster. And Xiaomi has made a bunch of improvements with Mi UI. So this phone, it's not about the fact that it's got just uh, Snapdragon 820. You know, there are very conscious choices that have been made here. For example, the 1080p screen allows better frame rates and uh, less battery drop. Those things are very important, and that is what is going to define the performance of this device in the long run. Uh, again, Navin Kumar, the 128 GB Mi 4 Pro is not in India at the moment. And yes, Kedar, this phone does have an IR blaster, and according to Xiaomi, uh, they have worked really hard to make sure it works with a bunch of DTH devices devices that are available in India, including Airtel IPTV and Tata Sky as well. Uh, Robin Rehan says, "How is the loudspeaker?" Uh, so the, the this area where I'm standing is pretty loud, so I can't really comment on the loudspeaker at the moment. But I'm hoping it will be good. HTC 10 or Mi 5, your take? Again, HTC 10 is not launched in India, and I would really not want to comment on a phone based on uh, just the uh, rumors. But on first impression, I have to tell you guys that the Xiaomi Mi 5 is probably the most amazing device that I've seen this year, barring the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7. And considering the price. seems like just as good a phone as the mobile is 24000 the internal storage should be 64 and no external uh yeah i think if you need 64 to 64 gb storage you will always find uh, you know 32 gb to be too low but honestly i think for most people 32 gb is more than enough and again yes kedar the phone does have an ir blaster and they think according to xiaomi it works with most indian dth services as well as air conditioners tvs and things like that so yes on first impressions going back to the xiaomi mi 5 this phone is really 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 impressive and uh, we are going to get this for review tomorrow so hopefully tomorrow so please stay tuned to tune for that we'll have a review up by most likely monday thanks a lot for joining